Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the game satisfactory working on the Apple Silicon Mac. So there is no Mac port of this game, we're running the Windows version through a Windows translation layer called Crossover. We're also going to be making use of something called CX Patcher in order to get the latest version of D3D Metal from Apple's Game Porting Toolkit version 2.0 Beta 3. And we're also going to be showing you how to go ahead and launch the game in DirectX 11 mode. And this is going to provide a little bit of a performance boost, which is much needed because this game is running through multiple translation layers and you're going to want as much performance as you can get out of this game. So this is going to provide the full tutorial on how to get all of this running on your Mac, including installing Crossover, CX, Patcher and all of the rest. So the first step is going to be to download Crossover. So what I recommend doing is clicking at the link at the top of this video's description. Every single purchase that's made after clicking this link is going to help to support this channel and the content that I create. Once you're taken to the purchase page, you'll be able to enter this promo code, Apple Gaming Wiki New. And once you press the arrow button here, it's going to go ahead and apply a 20% off discount, which is pretty huge, off Crossover Plus, which is the version that we recommend for 12 months of support. However, if you want to make sure that this works for you, make sure to check out the 14 day free trial which is what I'm going to be trialing today just click this try now button and then scroll down and all we need to do is enter our email address and name and then click the download trial now button so once crossover is downloaded we're going to copy it over to our applications folder and then we're going to double click to open it for the first time let's open it might ask you to install Rosetta 2 just let that install and then we're going to do the free trial or if you have unlocked this already you can enter your details here from the code weavers account so I'm going to try now to start the 14 day free trial and basically we're ready to go ahead and use crossover but the first thing i'm going to do is to quit out and we're going to make the modifications to crossover this is an optional step that will allow us to use the latest versions of d3d metal at the time recording that's version 2.0 beta 3 so here we're going to be downloading the latest version of cx patcher which i'll be leaving a link in the description and we're going to be using 0.5.6 and this contains the latest update to game porting toolkit 2.0 which is d3d metal 2.0 beta 3 so here what we're going to do is go to assets and then download the cx patcher.app.zip and then put this in our downloads folder. And once that's there, we're going to go to Finder and then go to Downloads. And then we'll go to CX Patcher, double click to extract this. And then we're going to move this into our applications folder. We are going to make sure that we open up Crossover first before we start this process and then close it. And then we're going to double click on CX Patcher. If it says it can't be opened, then go to the settings menu here, go to system settings, and then go to security and privacy. And then scroll down until we find here, it says CX Patcher can't be opened. It was blocked to protect your Mac. Click open anyway. And here, we can close this and press open anyway then we're going to type in our password and then log in that's okay and this will basically allow us to open up applications which aren't from the app store type in your password press okay so just be aware that of course this is not a supported method of patching crossover this really comes at your own risk do not ask for code weavers for support or refund if you're using this method they will not be able to help you if you need help from code weavers then you should be waiting for official support which is probably going to come in the very near future if you want to be able to use this you need to type in this full phrase and then press agree and proceed now cx patch is ready to use so we're going to configure some settings first go to advanced options and then we're going to be enabling dxvk integrate gptk we're going to use a separate bottle path we're going to be advertising avx we're going to be allowing dxvk async and then we can tweak some of these settings too so now we're going to drag and drop crossover into CX Patcher. Now CX Patcher is ready to go. So double click on crossover. Say we're going to install Steam. Install. Click yes here. Accept. And now we're just going to go through the standard Windows setup of Steam. And now that's going ahead and downloading Steam. So make sure to allow any kind of permissions that the bottle requests. And then I also advise turning on D3D Metal and also the M-Sync option and then reboot the bottle. This allows us to run DirectX 11 and 12 games through crossover. Then we're going to make sure to launch Steam. So here we're going to log in with our Steam account. So if you don't have one already, you can create one for free. So now that we have the Windows version of Steam loaded up, we can go into a library and basically download any game that we have. So next, what we're going to do is to do a search for Satisfactory with the 1.0 update. So we're going to download the Windows version of this game through Windows Steam. Make sure to install this in the local bottle or somewhere on your Mac. And then this is going to go ahead and download and then update. So on a Mac, one thing that you might want to consider doing before we launch is to go into the properties of the game and then type in DX11 into launch options, which is going to allow the game to launch in DirectX 11 instead of DirectX 12. This should provide a much needed performance boost as DirectX 12 mode does make the game run substantially slower. However, DirectX 11 isn't as well supported. So just be aware that it might take a few minutes for the next warning screen to pop up. Here we can just press no to ignore this and then you can see the satisfactory splash screen come up behind it. So just be patient and wait for this to load up. 
And now the game has loaded up full screen and we can see the satisfactory logo and the main menu popping up now. So just go through the standard satisfactory process of setting up or starting a new game. Here we're tweaking the graphics settings. We're running this at 1440p at the medium graphics preset. And now I'm going to load up a game. So here we are, I've loaded up into my game world and I'm doing basically everything that I can do on a normal game or satisfactory. We can do some mining, all of the kind of crafting menus work correctly. There are no distinct visual bugs here, just minor stuttering here and there, but generally speaking, quite an enjoyable experience, even on the MacBook Pro. As far as I can tell, there's nothing really wrong with the performance of this game. There's nothing game breaking, at least. We are playing this at a relatively high resolution and we're still getting about 45 to 55 FPS in this open world, which ain't too bad. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other Mac gaming tutorials and other tutorials on this YouTube channel, so please check them out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.